and I am the leader of Fonthilla. We heard about the competition through our university and we're very happy to take part in the Sustainable Aviation Challenge. Being all our space students, we thought that it would be something good for us due to the current situation because it would give us experience that will be helpful in our future. For the Sustainability Aviation Challenge, we began by brainstorming on the future of propulsion and what it would look like for the future generations. Though we originally began research on commercial airplanes, we decided to shift our focus to drones. Drones are starting to make an appearance in many industries, such as imaging, policing, filmmaking, and parcel deliveries. They allow industries to benefit from aerial access, safe time, survey structures, bypass traffic, and eliminate the need to put humans in hazardous environments. Though there are numerous applications for drones, we focused on delivery drones, as multiple companies such as Amazon, Alibaba, Honeywell, DPD, and UPS are investing in this delivery method and are starting to incorporate it for smaller deliveries. With increasing urban populations, traffic, and an increased demand for online orders, a drone delivery system is an efficient way to carry out lightweight deliveries. Though they may occasionally be limited by weather, electric-powered drones would reduce the amount of carbon emissions caused by delivering companies each year and allow the delivery times to be significantly reduced. This delivery method can be used by companies and small businesses to deliver their products such as food orders so that it can be enjoyed within a shorter amount of time by pharmaceutical companies to deliver prescription medication or medicine when someone is sick, and in a world struggling to function during the pandemic, the delivery infrastructure could allow for COVID-19 tests and food deliveries to be made to those in quarantine with symptoms of the virus. This would limit the amount of contact that the person exhibiting COVID-19 symptoms would have with people, therefore reducing the spread of the virus. Delivering lightweight packages using drones would allow for same-day deliveries and reduce the need for manual deliveries. However, their significant limitation is the battery life of a drone. As for it to be effective, it needs to carry out deliveries throughout the day and has to have adequate battery life to return to the facility. A more effective infrastructure needs to be put in place in order to make the deliveries possible. For this project, our team used the 3D Experience system to design the delivery drone docking depot. Within the system, we used the Collaborate Tasks app to assign responsibilities, tasks, and deadlines so we could share the work between team members and stick to a working schedule. It also allowed us to easily see what has been completed and what is in the process of being done. We used the 3D Space app in order to share all our documents and parts so that we could collaborate on the final model. This allowed us all to have access to the files, making the collaborative workflow a lot more efficient. We also used Katia to create the 3D design and assembly of a delivery drone docking depot and an example of a drone with a replaceable battery. Within it, we used apps such as part design and assembly design. Although it is still a concept, it easily demonstrates our idea and how it can be implemented. Installing a delivery drone system within the current infrastructure is difficult. The delivery system would only be effective if the drones can be in continuous use and if they have the ability to travel the necessary distance to take the package from storage to the delivery address, which would require a very long battery life. We initially considered solutions such as hybrid drones, however we wanted to ensure that the method of increasing flight range would not sacrifice the sustainability benefits of using fully electric powered propulsion whilst retaining the compact design. Our solution to increasing battery life was to design a delivery drone docking depot, which would allow the drone to land and get a battery replacement when necessary, whether it is during a delivery or in the way to a collection point, allowing the drones to deliver to much larger ranges. The batteries would not need to be manually replaced, as upon docking, the battery could automatically be removed and put on a charging station, and a new fully charged battery can be placed into the drone. A small battery inside the drone would allow the drone to keep enough power to store the information necessary to continue on its route without any hindrance. The replacement of the battery would depend on how many compartments needed to be replaced, but for a one battery compartment drone, it should take about a minute. The delivery drone docking depot would be mobile in order to ensure that the optimal location can be used based on the deliveries that are scheduled on a given day. This would ensure that the drone does not have to take a long detour in order to be recharged. The docking depot would come installed with solar panels in order to increase the usage of renewable energy. However, it would also need to be plugged into an electric source to ensure all batteries are charged and ready to be placed into drones.
The docking depot would be standardized for a specific drone, as battery location and type would need to be consistent. But various alterations can be made specific to the docking station and manufacturer. This provides a more sustainable delivery method whilst meeting the demand, as it would eliminate the carbon emissions caused by manually delivering small packages and contribute to eliminating the traffic within cities. The delivery drone docking depot would need to be altered specific to each company's drone. We decided to illustrate how this method can be used on a six-arm delivery drone. Although the battery compartment for this drone is located on one side, the docking depot could be altered specific to each type of drone to work with their battery location. We have not specified the materials for this project as we do not have the material weight or strength restrictions as of now. We believe that all materials necessary for implementing the delivery drone docking depot can be stored sustainably. What you currently see being assembled is the arm that is used to remove and replace the battery. This is what the delivery drone docking depot would look like. Although there is only one battery storage compartment shown, there would be multiple installed burst stations, so that numerous drones could get a battery replacement within a short amount of time, should it be needed. This is what the compartment looks like by itself. It can rotate so that each battery can be easily accessed by the arm at the center of the docking station. As you can see, towards the back of the compartment there is a connection point which matches that of the battery. This allows the battery to be charged. As the battery fits tightly into each compartment, the battery should easily connect to the charging station without error. There is space for multiple batteries to be stored and charged, although for the majority of the time it is retracted and closed off to prevent tampering and misuse. When a drone is near, the batteries would extend upwards to be used. There is always one less battery than there are charging compartments, as the battery from the drone would need to be removed and put on charge before a new one is installed. The battery would match the contours of the drone and would create a seal with the outside to prevent fluids and other materials entering the battery compartment. Once the drone lands on the docking station, the arm would be inserted into the battery to release the mechanism and remove the battery. This particular station is designed for a drone with a span of 1 meter, so the station is compact and can be easily moved to the necessary location. The battery can be secured in the drone by a mechanism that extends on either side of the battery and fits into respective grooves. This keeps the battery secure during flight. Similarly, the battery can be removed by retracting the two extensions. This allows for the delivery drone docking depot to easily remove and replace the battery when a drone lands. As you can see, in order for the mechanism to extend and retract, an external force needs to be applied. This is done through the arm in the center of the docking station, which will provide the torque to the mechanism. As mentioned previously, the battery has a connection point, which would be used for the battery to charge and to provide power to the drone. The arm in the center of the drone has multiple moving parts. First and foremost, there is the part which is used to provide torque to the mechanism which secures the battery. It is inserted into the hole and extends or retracts the mechanism inside of the battery as necessary.
The top section of the arm can also extend to retract in order to reach and pick up the batteries. The arm can also raise or lower itself as needed. This would allow it to access multiple levels of battery storage compartments. Similarly, it would be able to make adjustments to the height of the drone. The arm as a whole would also be able to rotate 360 degrees and move horizontally on the docking station. This would allow it to easily replace the battery and access charged ones. It would also be able to adjust to the landing of the drone. As you can see on the drone, there is a connection point at the back in order to allow for it to be powered and at the sides there are two grooves in order for the mechanism to be able to secure the battery in flight. While that keeps it secure, it also allows for the battery to be removed with ease without human interference. In preparation for the arrival of the drones, the battery compartment would extend upwards, then the drone would land on the designated area. The arm would then unlock the mechanism and place it on the charging station. The charging station would then rotate to provide a charged battery. The arm would pick up the charged battery and secure it in the drone. Due to the small dimensions of the docking station, the delivery drone docking depot can be easily moved, and the small footprint would allow for it to be located in numerous locations throughout cities. This would provide the necessary infrastructure for delivery drones to become a widely used delivery method. The docking depot fits the theme of sustainability as it would allow for widespread use of electric power drones. These drones would not only provide the luxury of delivering products in very short times, but they are also powered electrically. They would allow for delivery of lightweight products without creating necessary emissions, therefore contributing to sustainability as it would also reduce the number of manual deliveries. Less vehicles would be used in the delivery process. Our team enjoyed being able to use the 3D Experience platform in order to complete the Sustainability Aviation Challenge. We hope you enjoyed our project, as it is something we enjoyed creating. Not only is the use of drones becoming more widespread, but we also had a personal interest in the area due to the current COVID crisis and let's be honest, a delivery drone system would also be really cool whilst being sustainable. We thank you for this opportunity to participate in this challenge and to have the ability to learn how to use the software. We hope you enjoyed our submission.